so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm gonna talk more about attention control or the bracket that we see most of them use in order to get good results so how they are used and why they are used i've already made a video regarding this on how to use them and why to use them and why they are important in the prompt section so if you haven't seen that video the link will be already in the description or you can just click the i button so now in this video i'm just gonna talk further more about how to use them and yeah this is the part two of this how to use them in prompt and let's get into detail first of all thanks to one of my subscriber who said me how to use this in a shortcut way so if you are feeling lazy to type brackets like this just highlight the words or the phrase that you want to focus on press control and just press arrow keys so that it will just add brackets and you can see it also added the value so this is how you use the shortcut for attention control or the bracket that you want to use if you don't want to type further if you want to increase this value just keep on pressing control and just press arrow keys up for increasing values and down for decreasing the value i'm not gonna go on to detail what these values does because i've already made a video you can just go on to description and you can see that video so let's get started with this video so first of all i'm just going on to the same theme yesterday's theme octane render of grim reaper with sword dark graveyard theme ultra detail high detail and so on we will not focus on this first of all we'll focus on positive prompt only so what i'm gonna do is that I will just generate and see what detail do we get with dark graveyard theme focused on okay as you can see i have already set on to 1.3 let's see what detail do we get okay okay so this is the result that we got as you can see a pretty good result and a lot of amount of graveyard sign so now what i will do is that i will just decrease this value to 2 so let's decrease this to 2 and let's see what does it generate okay so this is the result that we got a pretty good image okay as you can see uh as you can see grim reaper with sword and a graveyard theme as well pretty good image now what i want to do is that as you can see there is a vignette style over here so what i'm gonna do is that i will just add vignette let's add vignette on negative prompt okay i just let's highlight this as well and let's increase the value to one point let's see now it should ignore vignette as well now let's generate and let's see Okay, so this is the result that we got as you can see over here pretty good image grim reaper with sword and a uh, graveyard style still we got a vignette but not that much uh, compared to the earlier one so now what i will do is that i will just send it to image to image and let's try to generate even more details into this let's send it to image to image okay so now that i've already sent it to image to image here you can see i've already tried to add some details in earlier image yeah let's try to focus on this image okay now what i will do is that i just want to add something like moon or and bat style okay so now what i will do is that i will just remove these brackets in order to not focus on this because we have already got the result we got so now what we'll do is that we'll just add square brackets okay on this square brackets on this as well and on this sentence as well we just don't want to focus on this because square brackets are used to not focus on that sentence okay now what i will do is that i will just add one prompt night kai with moon and bats okay we will try to convert this image into like a scary uh, theme so what we will do is that now we'll just highlight this as well and let's try to increase the value by pressing control and arrow keys let's try to increase this value to 1.2 okay so this is the setting that i'm using this is what i added so what we'll do here also we'll just add some 0.6 let's try let's try first on 0.6 and let's see what result do we get now okay okay so this is the result that we got pretty good image as well okay you can see bats over here and moon as well it almost completely converted this image into like what we were thinking okay but still i'm not satisfied with this so what i'm gonna do is that we'll not try to defocus on this thing let's just remove this and let's just try one more and let's see what result do we get okay as you can see a pretty good image you can see clearly bats moon but still not the good image so what's messing this image is that i know what's messing it's the denoising send that's messing with this image a lot so we'll decrease this to 0.5 and let's see what do we get okay so now a pretty good image still no bats you can see bat signs over here but not a perfect bat yeah we will go with this first of all okay we'll go with this image 
now what i'm gonna do is that i will just try to add halloween pumpkins okay and let's try to focus on this as well okay let's add control let's add this to 1.3 i think so let's try to focus on this as well first of all and let's see what result do we get omg there are a lot of halloweens going over here let's decrease this to 1.2 and let's check okay 1.2 and let's decrease this to 1.0 and let's try to generate and let's see what result do we get oh the images are pretty good as well so as you can see over here we got a pretty good image two moons i don't know okay we'll try to remove this moon as well okay but a pretty good image what i will do is that i will just send it over here and i will just try to add bats on this as well because there are no bad signs over here as you can clearly see now what i will do is that i will just try to focus on bats only so let's not focus on this first of all let's add uh, square brackets on this sentence let's delete this let's add square brackets we are not focusing on pum pumpkins right now first of all we'll add it okay now what we will only focus on bats okay so now let's change the sentence with one moon and bats and let's see what result do we get now we should get bats somewhere or somewhere we should get bats amazing result i think so this is the result this result is amazing but still only one bat as you can see over here one bat i will just send it over here let's zoom it and as you can see one bat sign over here it's converting it into a bat sign but it is a pretty good image what i will do is that let's not focus on this one moon is enough let's close this with square bracket let's see let's close this with square bracket let's edit this to flying bats okay let's focus on this we will not focus on this we will just let's not focus on this uh, we'll just focus on flying bats okay so now let's try to generate oh nice still we are getting close to it as you can see we are getting close to it we still got a pretty good image like still not a good bats as you can see the image is almost what we were thinking so now let's try once again with like 1.2 or 1.3 let's go with 1.3 and let's try Oh my god, we literally got a pretty good image what we were thinking like pumpkins on ground, carry like graveyard theme, one moon. Oh my god, this is something that we got. So this is the way that you get good results with attention control. So that's why I made a video yesterday saying that why attention control is so useful and most important factor in order to get good result. In order to generate good images, you need to get good with attention control as well. You just don't want to type like prompt and just generate image. No, it's not like that. The main thing you need to learn is that attention control in you. You need to get control with attention control as well. Let's end this video. It's already getting a long video. Let's end this video over here. We got a pretty good image. What we were thinking in my mind, I was thinking like a scary Halloween type spooky type theme. I was thinking and as you can see, we got pretty close to it like pumpkin graveyard theme, Grim Reaper. A modern Grim Reaper, I could say, <laughs> as you can see, he's wearing pants and all a modern Grim Reaper, like a costume player. Okay. But still we got a pretty good image moon as well, single moon as well, bats flying as well. So this is the way how you get this. And this is the way you will get good results. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you guys like this video and got to know how to use attention control and how to use these brackets to get good results, good, amazing results out of this. Okay. So that's it for today. I hope you guys liked it and I will be back with more and more videos tomorrow. Till then have a good day, good night and see you soon guys. Bye guys. Love you all guys. Once again.